Welcome to this short video about managing telangiectasia in the nose. Here on the right hand side, there is a large telangiectasia extending from the floor of the nose onto the nasal septum. This has been the cause of recurrent epistaxis for a patient, and it can be managed either under short anesthetic or under local anesthetic, a full stop. Local anesthetic here is being injected into the base of this area, being close to the skin of the nasal vestibule, it's very sensitive and it's important to get good analgesia. In the injection, you can even see the flow of the blood within the vessels itself. Using a micro bipolar forceps, the feeding vessel to this telangiectasia is first cauterized, then the telangiectatic vessel itself is followed with a very superficial cautery. The goal here is not to over cauterize the surrounding tissue, but to ensure that you get adequately the ablation of the vessel. At the end, it should be a limited thermal injury. And importantly, and often over missed, is the need to cover the area to prevent crusting as it is in a high nasal airflow site.